Today we will do the numerical problems from elasticity of demand. So in all the exams you can expect or uh, numerical problems based on elasticity of demand is asked. So they are very important. But usually simple problems are asked. But we will do all types of problems based on elasticity of demand. The first problem, a mobile manufacturing company sells its mobile phones at a price of Rs. 4,500 per unit and in a year the company sells 10,000 handsets. When they decrease the price to Rs. 4,000, sales increases to 12,000 units. What is the price elasticity of demand for this mobile phones? That is the first part. So this is a direct question. Uh, initial price and initial quantity is there, final price or the changed price and uh, changed quantity is there. So we can apply the first formula that is, our first formula is EP equals P by Q into delta Q by delta P. So here P is the initial price. So what is P? P equals the initial price is 4500. And initial quantity Q is the initial quantity. So Q equals 10,000. And the final price is 4000. So delta P is delta P equals Final price minus initial price. So that is 4000 minus 4500. That is equal to minus 500. And uh, delta P is final quantity minus initial quantity. So delta P equals final quantity is 12,000. So 12,000 minus 10,000. So that is equal to 2000. So we got everything. Now you just uh, substitute these values in the formula. So we will get 4500 divided by Q initial quantity that is 10,000 multiplied by delta Q. Delta Q is 2000 that divided by minus 500. So when you solve, you will get this is equal to minus 1.8. So here we are getting a minus value, even though it is minus, but it is greater than 1. So since it is greater than 1, this product has more elastic demand. This product has more elastic demand. the more elastic demand we are ignoring this sign. We will always get a negative sign. But we are ignoring this sign. So this product has more elastic demand. We can say the interpretation like this product has more elastic demand. So elasticity of demand is Minus 1.8. Now we add the next part is suppose this company wants to increase its sales by 50%. To what percentage its price is to be reduced? Now we have the elasticity of demand in the basic formula. EP equals EP equals percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. This is the basic formula. So here we know that EP is 1.8. So we substitute everything to find uh, the uh, to what percentage the price is to be reduced. Now, we have to say that 
ഈ കമ്പനിക്ക് ഈ ദി കമ്പനി വാണ്ട്സ് ടു ഇൻക്രീസ് ഇറ്റ് സെയിൽ ബൈ ഫിഫ്റ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റ് സെയിൽ കൂട്ടണമെങ്കിൽ എത്ര പെർസെൻറ്റ് അതിൻ്റെ പ്രൈസ് റെഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യണമെന്നാണ് ചോദിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് സോ ഹിയർ വി സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് വെൻ യു സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ദി വാല്യൂസ് വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് എയ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇലാസ്റ്റിസിറ്റി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗിവൺ ഇൻ ദി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ പ്രൈസ് ആൻഡ് സോ വട്ട് ഈസ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ പ്രൈസ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ പ്രൈസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വൈ ക്രോസ് മൾട്ടിപ്ലായിങ് വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ പ്രൈസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് എയ്റ്റ് here there is no need to put this minus sign because these are we are finding the percentage now that is equal to um the the answer is 27.78 27.78 if the company reduces its uh, Uh, price by 27.78 percentage then the company will be able to increase the sales by 50 percent so this kind of questions you can expect in the exam they are very simple just we have to put different values that's all if the formula like we will value substitute here solve here can't be done that's all they are very simple then the next problem the demand function of a commodity is given as dx is equal to 10 minus 2p what is the elasticity of demand of the product when price of the product is rupees 4 po namaku ivide indirect aitana ee question thannirikkunathu so the directly the values are not given but uh, in the theory i have already explained that the uh delta q by delta p is the slope or the rate of change in the equation the demand equation so in the demand equation we from the demand equation we can get delta q by delta p that is equal to minus 2 minus 2 is delta q by delta p that we can take from the demand equation then uh, the equation is so to find uh, the elasticity of demand as the formula is p by q into delta q by delta p so we have already got delta q by delta p and in the question it is given like price is equal to 4 and we want to quantity q also so for that we just substitute the value for that is the price in the demand equation and to find the demand or the quantity so dx is equal to uh, 10 minus 2p that means 10 minus 2 into 4 4 is the price so 2 into 4 is 8 so 10 minus 8 that is equal to 2 so we got the quantity also that is q so q is equal to 2 demand for x and parayunnathu quantity ana that is q so q is equal to 2 so we got everything so p by q that is uh, ep equals p by q that is 4 divided by 2 into minus 2 so 2 and 2 will be cancelled and uh, the answer is minus 4 so the elasticity of demand is minus 4 so idum valare simple aayittulla oru question aanu but it is a different question appo ningalode sadharana reethil ingane ee type questions chodikkarilla but still they are very simple here also we are substituting the values but the question is given in an indirect way see 
Another question. Suppose a company produces electric bulbs and its demand curve is given as P equals 500 minus 0 0.1 Q. If the company wants to sell 4500 bulbs, what price would be charged by the company? At that price, what will be the price elasticity of demand? And comment on elasticity. This is again an indirect question. So directly the demand function also it is not directly given. So it is so first we have to find the demand function. So we have demand function P equals Q equals or demand equals demand for X equals and the formula. So we have to find the demand function P equals 500 minus 0.1q quantity therefore q equals quantity equals how we will uh, rearrange this equation q equals 5000 minus 10p in the good number other the equation eq and the video ball i'm king in an equation good another then the company wants to in the number question and then if the company wants to sell 4500 bulbs what price would be charged by the company a pivot of the company care 4500 bulbs will come at the angle on angle company charge a and the price at three on an honor to the chicken a pivot a peak and everybody can look in the jayda madhi EQ and the very another so 4500 bulbs on our crew will come to the up or other on a quantity I did a kind of up on the price at three I do not know in other other in a number just to you substitute the value 4500 in this equation and the soul then we will get P so 4500 equals 5000 minus 10 while solving this, we will get P equals 500 divided by 10 that is equal to 50. Now, P is the value of T, P is the value of 50. So, so, that is the first part. Now, we will price the price. What price should be charged by the company? Then the second part is at that price, what will be the price elasticity of demand? Now, if we take delta Q by delta P, that we can take from the equation. So, delta Q by delta P is equal to 10. As the equation, we are getting it as 10. Then P is equal to, P is already getting 50. Q is equal to 4500. Now we have to substitute these values in the basic formula. That is EP equals P by Q into delta Q by delta P. So that is equal to 50 P is 50. 50 divided by 4500 multiplied by delta q by delta p is minus 10 so that is equal to minus 0 0.11 so what we can say about elasticity the value of elasticity is only 0 0.11 here also we can ignore the sign the sign ignore jay dalum elasticity the value 0 0.11 so that is less than 1 since it is less than 1, we can say this commodity has less elastic demand. So, the demand of the product is less elastic. Next problem, a consumer purchases 50 units of a commodity X when its price is rupees 8. In the next month, he purchased 60 units at the same price. Commodity price change in the 
This was due to an increase in the price of another commodity Y. That is the related commodity the price change. That uh, increased from rupees 10 to 12. Calculate cross elasticity of demand. Now we will see that X in the quantity Y in the price. So what is the uh, formula to find the cross elasticity of demand? EC equals price of y divided by quantity of x multiplied by delta q x divided by delta p y so what is the price of uh, the product y initial price of the product y p y is equal to 10 nammal y ida price venum edukkan x inde price 8 edukkirud so, if you have mistakes, sometimes you may take the price 8 as the initial price. That's why you have cross elasticity in the commodity price. And uh, price of y is equal to 10 and quantity of x, initial quantity of x is equal to 60. Qx is equal to 60. So, sorry, not QX, QX is not equal to 60, but it is 50 only. QX is equal to 50. And uh, what is uh, delta QX changed quantity? That is equal to final quantity is 60. So, 60 minus 50. So, that is equal to 10. And what is delta PY? That is equal to 12 minus 10. So that is equal to 2. So we got everything. Then ju just uh, substitute the values. Uh, when you substitute the values, you will get P price of Y that is 10 EC is equal to 10 divided by quantity of X that is 50 multiplied by delta qx that is 10 divided by delta py that is 2 so what answer you will get so here you will get 1 so how will you interpret uh, this cross elasticity the value of this cross elasticity here you are getting a positive value. Since it is positive value, since cross elasticity is positive, commodity X and Y are substitute goods. Our positive value is the unit elastic demand. Not only that, the commodity uh, has uh, these two commodities are substitute goods. Uh, sign positive y the substitute goods on cross elasticity like ACL. if sign is negative then the commodities will be complementary goods but here the sign is positive so the commodities are substitute goods and uh, the cross elasticity the, there is uh, uh, elasticity is unit interpretation this is unit elastic demand and uh, they are substitute goods. Next is a problem about income elasticity of demand. Suppose a consumer purchases 10 units of a commodity when his monthly income is rupees 20,000. When his monthly income increases to rupees 25,000, he purchases 12 units of it. Estimate income elasticity of demand and interpret the result. This is also a direct question. So the uh, formula is income elasticity EY is equal to Y by Q Y by Q into delta Q divided by delta Y. Y is income. So y is the initial income y equals 20,000 
and uh, q equals 10 units then delta q delta q equals final quantity is 12 so 12 minus 10 that is equal to 2 and delta y equals 25,000 minus 20,000 so that is equal to 5,000 now you just uh, substitute these values when you substitute the values you will get the income elasticity of demand so we, while substituting you will get EY is equal to Y by Q that is 20,000 divided by Q is 10 multiplied by delta Q is 2, 2 divided by delta Y that is 5,000. So what, what answer you will get? So that is equal to, so that is equal to 40,000 divided by 50,000. So, 4 by 5 that is equal to 0 0.8. Here you are getting a positive value as income elasticity. So, what we can say about the commodity, this commodity is a normal good. This is normal good. That is why you are getting a positive value. If income elasticity is negative, then the then what we can say when income elasticity is negative, then the commodity will be an inferior commodity. But here it is positive, so it is a normal commodity, and the value is less than one, so it is less elastic demand. It demand is less elastic. Yana. Three carrying lana, number income elasticity, a curse, you result in a curse, number interpretation could come together. It is a normal good and it is less elastic demand. Next, we are doing a question which is asked in the last exam that is S5 exam. Kadina S5 vana, Makadima industrial economics in the Varana paper novendi, not a theory. A father chose a chicken now, question. A tea manufacturing company was able to sell 800 kilograms of tea when the price of coffee was 70 per kilogram. Later, they were able to sell 9,000 kilograms when the price of coffee becomes rupees 80 per kilogram. Calculate gross elasticity of demand for tea. Uh, and uh, are the two commodities substitutes or complements? Give reason. Then we have gross elasticity. Either substitute goods or complementary goods. Either reason. So we can write the formula PY equal to P equal to 800 PY. So, PY, price of Y, that is uh, price of coffee here. PY is 70. And uh, quantity of X, that is initial quantity of uh, T, that is equal to 8000. And delta QX is equal to uh, final quantity is 9000 so 9000 minus 8000 so that is equal to 1000 and delta py is equal to final price minus initial price final price is 80 and initial price is 70 so that is equal to 10 now you substitute the values. So EC is equal to 70 divided, sorry, 70 divided by 70 divided by 8000 multiplied by delta Q that is 1000 
divided by delta py that is 10. So while solving you will get 0 0.875. So in this case also the cross elasticity of demand is positive. Since it is positive we can say tea and coffee these two commodities are substitute goods. The reason is the cross elasticity of demand is positive. Substitutes are not complements are on the other substitutes are on the parega and the reason is the cross elasticity of demand is positive. So that much explanation we have to write. This is another university question. A company producing soft drinks is selling its product for uh, rupees twenty two. It sells thousand units. And then increases the price to 24. Now sales falls to 900 units. What is price elasticity of soft drink? Is the demand elastic or inelastic? Why? Just we have to apply the formula. So formula is EP equals P by Q into delta Q divided by delta P. So P is equal to twenty two Q is equal to so initial quantity is uh, thousand units. So thousand. Then delta Q equals final quantity is nine hundred. So nine hundred minus thousand. That is equal to minus 100. And uh, delta P is equal to 24 minus initial price 22. That is equal to 2. So we got everything. Just to substitute the values. Then uh, initial price EP equals 22 divided by quantity 1000. That multiplied by minus delta Q is minus 100. Minus 100 divided by 2. So while solving, we will get the answer minus 1.1. This is the answer. Minus 1.1. Here you are getting a minus value. Uh, the question is, is the demand elastic or inelastic? Don't be confused even though it is minus. The, 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 when you ignore the sign, the value is greater than 1. Since it is greater than 1, that is 1.1, we can say that this product has elastic demand. The reason is, elasticity of demand is greater than 1. We are always ignoring the sign. Namal curriculum interpretation vendi unnu we sign namal consider cheyigeyilla. So it is elastic demand, and uh, uh, the the reason is the elasticity of demand is greater than one. So these are all various types of problems that can be asked from elasticity. Uh, so you can practice this uh, 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 at least one type of each problem you may practice. So then it will be easy for you to do uh, the uh, numerical problems that you are going to get in the examination. So that's all for uh, this class. Next class we will start uh, supply.